This man in Massachusetts is being called a hero, and the video will show you why. While driving on the highway, the 25-year-old noticed this blue car crashing into the median, so he got out of his own car and ran across the lanes to catch it. The driver inside had lost consciousness. Another man jumped in to help him, and the two of them were able to stop the car. There's no word on how the driver's doing or what caused them to pass out, but it could have been a lot worse if no one stepped in. Now, I love people like this beautiful soul right here. This beautiful soul and somebody else saw a car that was in distress and he was, man, he was like Superman out there. Y'all see how he put them jets on? I wonder if he's an athlete or something. But all praise to this guy. All praise to him because we need more people like him. We need more people who ain't afraid to take action. And to go ahead. Oh, I like the mirrors. And to go ahead. I love them boys. To go ahead. And to do the right thing, regardless, because them cars was on the coming on the highway. You know what I'm saying? It's the highway. And man, he took action. And what is going on at the Dallas Zoo? A pair of tamarind monkeys disappeared sometime before Monday morning. Staff says their enclosure looked like it was intentionally compromised and they think the monkeys were taken. Now cops are trying to ID this man and talk to him about the monkeys. This isn't the first weird thing to happen there in January, though. A few weeks ago, a clouded leopard got loose after her enclosure was cut open. Zoo staff found similar cuts in other exhibits. A vulture was also found dead from what officials say were unusual wounds. Now the zoo is offering a $10,000 reward for info that leads to an arrest and indictment. But they haven't hinted at any theories behind the weird happenings. So what do you think is going on? Hey, I uh, need you. I'm in. I'm in church for the I'll hang up. Ambulance is the telephone number you're calling from? Uh, I don't know it. Um, on my phone I see... Does that sound familiar? Hold on one sec. Okay. Hello? This is the ambulance service. What's the telephone number? Hi, ambulance. I'm in stuff. Okay, what's the address where you need the ambulance? Okay. I've got help coming. Just repeat that address to make sure I have it right, okay? Okay, you said not. Yes. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Um, uh, I can't I'm in consciousness right now. Okay. Well, I've got a lot of help coming to you, okay? You're going to hear silence for just a second while I get everyone started, but don't hang up. I'll be here. Okay. Okay, ma'am, are you alone? No. Hello, Katie. Are you alone? No. I have a Who has? My kid. I'm dying. I'm still here with you, okay? How many people are how many people are hurt? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Help is already on the way, okay? I'm dying, please. Yes, ma'am, they're already on their way. The questions won't slow them down at all. Bear with me. I'm terrified. When, when did this happen? No. Is the assailant here still nearby? Can you hear me? Is the attacker still nearby? Yes. Okay. Is there any serious bleeding? I don't know. Okay, that's all right. Again, they're coming as fast as they can, okay? I'm hurting. Okay, they're coming as fast as they can. I'm here. All right. I hear I'm, one baby. All right. Well, I'm going to stay on the I line hear, with you. Okay. One baby. I okay. don't hear my other kids. You don't hear your other I've kids? Been How many kids were there? I have eight kids. You said eight? Yes. All right. Um, who, what's the name of the person that did this to you? I can't say. You don't know his name? 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're coming as fast as they can, okay? Okay. I'm still here with you, okay? Mm -hmm. Is that is the person still there with you? Ma'am, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I've got a lot of help coming to you guys, okay? Are you, you still with me? I'm here. Okay, they're coming as fast as they can, okay? And I'm still here. Oh. Oh. I promise they're coming as fast as they can. I'm still here with you. Just let me know when there's someone there. No problem. My mama. What's her name? Who? What's your mom's name? Who? Okay. And then what is your name? Remy. You said Remy? Remy. Brittany, okay. Brittany, what's your last name? Anderson. Anderson, okay. Can you tell me your birthday? Okay, ma'am, I'm going to let you go now. The officers are going to take care of you, okay? No way. They're, they're getting ready to call you on the phone. Okay. And Okay, and they're going to call from a private or a blocked number, so make sure you answer, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll let you go so they can call you. This story from Pennsylvania is beyond heartbreaking. This is Anthony Alexander, a 17-year-old from a suburb of Philadelphia. In February of last year, Anthony was near this pond when he heard screaming. Three kids had fallen through the thin ice into the freezing pond and Anthony managed to pull them out. He was called a hero and honored by the local city council and state leaders. But on Sunday, a year later, everything changed. That night, Anthony was apparently live streaming on Instagram with a group of friends. The group was passing around a gun when it went off and hit Anthony, killing him. A 16-year-old friend of Anthony later turned himself in to police. He's being charged with third-degree murder, involuntary manslaughter, and weapons charges. 